Hi everybody, this is Carmel, the Crazy Cricket Lady. I made this over the weekend. It doesn't look great, and I really don't like it, but my daughter loves it. I got it at the discount store. It was green, and had somebody else's logo on it. So I decided I'd cover it and make her her own personalized water bottle. She loves it. There's no accounting for taste. But the problem I had was making the rounded corners. Do you know that is harder than you think it is to do in design space? It took me hours to figure out how to do it. Well, I've perfected the method and I'm going to show you how to do it so that you don't have to spend hours. This is, by the way, what it looks like. And these rounded corners are almost impossible until you have the trick. I'm going to start a new project and I'm just going to put a square in there. And we're going to show you the quick and easy way to do it on a normal square. And then I'm going to take something and do an odd shape just so you can see the same method works. We're going to make this a different color. What you need, first of all, to make this bigger so that you can see what's going on. And then we're going to need a circle. I tried everything. I tried cutting it with arcs. I tried everything. It didn't work. You make the circle really small, however big you want the rounded corner to be. You take it, put it over your square, and then align it left, and align it with the top, or wherever it is. See, it's right up against the edges. Now slice it. Remember, we selected both of them at the beginning here, so you slice it. And then, take the circle out, click the square, and go to contour. See the, the little corner there is separated? Hide that. Simple enough, right? But now you got the circle cut out. So what do you do? Just highlight it all, and click weld. Ta-da! Rounded corner. I'm going to show you that again. And this is neat with the circle. You just keep the same circle and that way they're all the same size. You have to keep bringing it to the front. You select everything. Align it to the top. And align it to the right this time. Slice it. Move this out of the way so it doesn't disappear. And then click the square and click contour. Hide it. And then click all of this and weld it. Ta-da! Rounded corner. We're going to do something here. We're going to attach a triangle to this so that we have an odd shape. And we're just going to do it this way so that we have some odd shapes. Yeah, I know this looks funny, but it will serve the purpose for what we want. Well, so how do you round this corner up here? Well, it works the same way. Bring it to the front. You may have to eyeball this because you can't line it up as well. But when you eyeball it, and if you need to make it grow, make it grow. And do it the exact same way. Highlight everything. Hit slice. Move your little circle out of the way. Hit contour and hide the little tip and then select it all and weld it. Ta-da! You've rounded an odd corner. Now these corners are a little harder to do. You really can't do something like that or at least I haven't figured it out yet. When I figure it out I'll let you know. But that's how you round corners with design space. This has been Carmel, the crazy cricket lady. This is a short one, but something that you need to know how to do. Contact me if you have a problem at blog at crazycricketlady.com. And this has been another design space. There's nothing to be scared of.